Hello, everyone. Today we'll be talking about the easiest way of sketching. In my 15 plus years of teaching students, I have seen many of them give up their painting because the sketch was too difficult. So I wanted to share this video with you and give you some basic tips to use while sketching, as well as show you how I trace. As you can see, I only need one reference photo, a pencil, and tissue paper. Let's get our photo ready. I've prepared a photo of a zebra. There are so many stripes on this zebra that I wish someone would draw this for me. The reference photo can be printed on standard printing paper. It would be best to use a thinner paper because if the paper is too thick, it will be difficult to press down and trace. We'll also need some pencils. I'll be using two types of pencils today, a soft Furby, which is great for shading, and a hard HB for tracing. If you don't have either of these, do not worry, just grab whatever you have on hand. Let's flip over the reference photo and start shading. You want it to be dark enough for the tracing to come out. Check the front side of the photo as you shade because you want it to cover the entire image. Once you're done, use the tissue paper and lightly wipe the shading. This is to keep your paper from getting dirty and ensure your tracing lines are nice and smooth. Now, let's set up what we need. First, place your reference photo on the watercolor paper where you'd like. Use tape to hold the two pieces together. I tape both sides of the sheets to the cell. Great! Now, imagine working so hard on these stripes and then realize your papers have shifted. Hmm, I don't even want to think about this happening. Don't forget to tape the sheets securely. Let's get started. Where should we begin? Normally, I'd start outlining the entire image, but when it comes to tracing, it doesn't really matter what order you follow, since the image is already complete. Oh, and don't forget, you want to keep flipping back to check that your tracing is coming through. Can you imagine tracing the whole photo and then realize, at the end, that nothing was traced? Be sure to check before you get too far. Now, it's time for some busy work. You know, some days, I just don't have it in me to sketch a complicated picture. So, I use this tracing technique and it helps me focus on the coloring. It is a bit time-consuming, but I will try my best to draw it exactly as is. The stripes follow the structure of the zebra's face, so pay close attention at this point as you trace. Now we have our zebra. How does it look? Anyone with a little bit of real power should be able to do this. Our 6-year-old son also uses these techniques to draw. He asked me to do a tutorial on tracing one of the Pokemon characters called Charizard when I told him I was working on this video. It's totally fine to start painting here, but let me share a sweet tip that will take your drawing to the next level. I like to take my pencil and add more details to my sketch. The tracing is good for drawing everything, but I think it's a good idea 
to go back and bring out certain parts. Let's pick out the point that we want to focus on. You want to use bolder lines for the darker parts and also work on bringing out the shadows. This will guide you as you begin painting. I will show you how I detailed my tracing. Here, you can compare a basic tracing to my detailed one. See how much better the detailed one is? Can you envision what the finished piece will look like? I'll be unloading a speed painting video of this zebra on Sunday, so be sure to keep an eye out for it. I hope today's video will now help you paint anything you'd like. You don't have to worry about a difficult sketch and spend more time enjoying the colors. If you have any questions about painting and drawing, please leave me a comment down below. I will try to answer you as best as I can. Please give this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more videos and don't forget to hit the notification bell. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!